Okay, this is a demonstration on uh, on using the power sharpener. Uh, again, it's, uh, the belt runs in a direction away from the operator. Uh, what's, what's going on here is Wayne's holding the tool in his hand. It's uh, about a number five uh, and about uh, 15 mil. Keeping that angle is, uh, takes a little bit of practice. One thing you can do is set it on the table, uh, like he's got there now, the handle fit right on the table. Then you can set that angle and then just rotate or roll the tool right on that same angle, just like that. We suggest you get one of your old tools around the shop and just practice with it uh, before you start to sharpening up a brand new tool. So that's the number five. The machine is also excellent for sharpening knives. Here Wayne is using a custom uh, sharpening knife. First one side, then the other. Pretty simple. You'll notice the, the machine has a flat pattern that runs along behind the belt. So it's much easier than using a, a wheel shape uh, for sharpening. It's almost foolproof. A little palm tool. This is a Marv Kaiser Sat uh, tool. Uh, two by number five, 20 mil. And just holding it up, getting the proper angle. After you've got it sharpened, very easy to change the belt. You turn it off, of course, first. Push down on the top pulley, take that belt off. You'll want to go from the 80 or 120 uh, grit belts to before you go to the leather, we suggest you use one of our Trizac grinding belts, but there's two of them. Uh, one's about 800 uh, grit and the other's about 1200. Now, they run by quite a bit uh, of finer grit, so you have to be careful you don't burn the tools. It's a very, very, very light touch. It's not meant for removing metal. It's meant for taking the lines out that the heavier grit put in, the scratches and so on. So this is just in preparation for the, for the leather honing belt. This is the same thing to each one of the tools. Right on that Trizac valve. We're only going to use the one Trizac now, but you would go from the one uh, that's 800 to the next one that's 1200. Again, change the belt, shut those off, and then put on the leather belt. There's uh, indications on the belt as to what direction they go. And again, the belts revolve away from the operator, so it's much, much safer to operate than if it was running toward you. Now, when you put the belt on, uh, it's a good idea to apply some compound. You can do it either two ways. You can run the belt uh, with the motor on and drag the compound around it, or just stop the belt and put it on by hand and turn it as Wayne's doing there now. Very, very simple. We like the red first, and then we put on either a little bit of green or gold. Doesn't really matter. Uh, green and gold are just a little bit more aggressive. Pick up your tool, and it's the same thing. Just hold it up against the flat patent. It's a nice, even stroke, and just roll the tool. Roll the tool. Keep the same angle that it comes with up from the manufacturer. It's about 20 degrees. Polish those right up. I don't know, Wayne, can you hold the back of that tool up to show the, the polish on? You can see the polish that's on the back of that baby. Man, that's just set. And, of course, we recommend that just before you use the tool now, if you're lucky enough to have our power honer, you do the inner channel as well because it makes an awful lot of difference. And the knife, done in the same manner, hold it up against the leather belt. Just like using a leather strop by hand, but with that power, it just makes it so much faster, so much quicker, and does a lot nicer job. And that's a demonstration of our power sharpener. So we hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'd be happy to take your orders.